Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look into the DXY and of course also into Ethereum. So make sure to enjoy this video my friends. Smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel and let's start straight into the content because bitcoin currently is still trading here below all the moving averages in the four hour time frame i'm expecting here continuation to the downside or at least a little bit of sideways movements here before we're gonna potentially retest this 30k and maybe even go lower because so far the 31 thousand dollar area hold as support and it looks like that bitcoin could break to the downside at any moment. But as long as we are not seeing an important support like here the $31,000 area getting broken, we cannot trade it at the moment. We still have to wait here on the sideline to see where Bitcoin could be heading next to because if we're gonna see here a breakout to the downside, the potential target is to reach here the main support at around $28,000. And I think there is going to be very interesting to see if Bitcoin is able to hold this support down below here and then have a potential big breakout to the upside from our resistance that we have currently at around $36,000. But if this support will not hold, then we have to look also in today's video what are the potential targets to the downside. But we're also going to have a look what are the targets in case that we're going to see here a breakout to the upside so in the four hour time frame i'm expecting here still continuation to the downside we have all the moving averages now above of us especially here the 200 right at 33,100 dollar in my opinion is a very strong resistance and as long as we are not even able to close at least a four hour candle above 33,000 dollar i'm expecting here the price to go lower and lower i think it's going to get very interesting once we're gonna see this 28,000 dollar test which in my opinion will come very very soon and if we have a look into the Bollinger Bands you can see that currently we're still trading right at the bottom here so I think it's just a matter of time till we're gonna crash below $31,000 or below the bottom of the Bollinger Bands if we are not able here in the next couple of hours to start to close again for our candles above $32,400 the midline of the Bollinger Bands all indicators are quite flat at the moment stochastic is in oversold condition so we should see this bounce pretty soon otherwise we definitely go going to see here a possible 30k retest and then in my opinion also a breakthrough towards $28,000 which previously also acted as a resistance and now it should be acting as a strong support. And if we go over into the daily time frame, you can see that here we are still in a downtrend. We're still getting rejected by the nine daily moving average, which currently is right here at $32,770. And I told you, my friends, that most likely we're going to stay here between the nine daily and 50 daily moving average, squeezing out here between these two moving averages before we're going to see the next big move of Bitcoin. And if here we're going to see a daily close above or below these important moving averages, then I think this could tell us where Bitcoin will go next because we still have a lot of room left to the downside for a potential bigger correction. But of course, if we are able to start again to go more bullish, so starting to close again daily candles above the nine daily and even better above the 20 daily moving average right at our resistance here at around $36,000 then of course we could see a really big move to the upside which for sure will take out this $42,000 all-time high and take us towards new levels. So the daily time frame is still in a downtrend as long as we are not seeing a bullish daily close here I think we will head towards $28,000 we also have now the RSI trading below the 50 level and also my own indicator you can see that the momentum now is clearly shifted to the downside and here as soon as we're gonna get a buy signal that could be the first sign that we're gonna see a reversal and we're gonna break out here to the upside so I will also keep you updated here as soon as we're gonna get a buy signal here in the daily time frame because I think latest then we're gonna see here a big breakout to the upside no matter where the price will be because keep in mind that with this potential correction that is still in the cards we could easily drop towards 28,000 
24,000 in the worst case even towards 20k where previously we had a lot of resistance and now this should be acting as a very strong support so keep those price levels here in mind my friends especially if you want to open up some nice long positions over on Bybit because once we're gonna bottom out here and we're going towards new levels way above 50k with Bybit or Femex if you take a long position you can do really life-changing gains my friends even with a small amount of money so keep in mind that with Bybit and Femex you can trade also with small amounts and thanks to leverage you can do really huge gains so make sure that you're ready once Bitcoin is starting again to push to the upside to open up some nice long positions if you still don't have an account over on Bybit and Femex then make sure to use my referral links down below here because with my links you support the channel and also you get some extra money and if we go now over into the weekly time frame you can see that the nine weekly moving average is right here at twenty nine thousand dollar so in my opinion it is very likely that we will come down here at least to test this nine weekly moving average and if this support area down here will not hold that's why i'm saying that this is going to be a very interesting area to see what bitcoin will do once we're going to reach it is 28 to 29 thousand dollar because if this one will not hold then we most likely gonna see here a huge downfall towards our next potential supports very close to the 20 weekly moving average right here at twenty thousand seven hundred dollar and remember that we still have this confirmed sell signal in the weekly so that's why i think it is very likely that we have to cool off here the rsi down to the 50 level before we're gonna see again a trend reversal and we're gonna see here a big breakout to the upside but as long as we are not seeing the rsi cooling off down to the 50 level i'm not expecting the price to just jump and break out here to the upside immediately so i still think that we have to cool off here a little bit more before we're gearing up for the next big move to the upside and this correction that we're seeing right now could be really the last opportunity my friends to buy cheap bitcoin before we're going into completely new levels so keep in mind that at the end it doesn't matter if you're buying right now at 30k or if we're going to see a major correction down to 20k that you're going all in then because at the end it doesn't really matter because bitcoin anyway is going higher than 100k so don't expect to make that big of a deal if you're buying at 20k or at 30k right now because so cheap you're most likely never going to buy in again into bitcoin and forget about prices below 10k because you had almost four years of time to buy sub 10k so this time is over my friends and this could be really now the last opportunity to buy some cheap bitcoin before we're going really completely parabolic so the targets to the downside are clear my friends we can fall now towards $28,000 in the worst case down towards the 20 weekly moving average here at 20k I'm not expecting the Bitcoin price to go lower than that and even if so you should be buying as much as you can at those price levels and now before we going over into the DXY I just want to show you the most bullish scenario if we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside because keep in mind that if this is a falling wedge then the target in theory is only to reach here the all-time high that we had so far at $42,000 but if we're gonna treat this as a bull flag so if we're just starting to consolidate here trading sideways and then have a big breakout to the upside so without creating this falling wedge then we have to do a completely different measurement because then we can treat it as a bull flag and that means that the potential target let's measure from the last big breakout that we had here from this huge resistance here at 20k we had here the breakout and the top was here right at forty two thousand dollar so let's take this measurement and pull it out here in the possible breakout zone let's say we're gonna break out here somewhere at around february here at thirty four thousand dollar this potential measurement could take the bitcoin price up to fifty five thousand dollar so that's why i'm telling you my friends if we're gonna see here a big breakout to the upside the target will be way above forty two thousand dollars so in that case bitcoin could easily reach this 50k area and keep in mind that we did now several times a fibonacci extension measurement from the old all-time high of 20k and the bottom that we had at 3k and the next fibonacci extension level is up here at around 60 
$63,000. So that's why I'm telling you, my friends, it is very likely that with this next big breakout to the upside that we are going to see in the Bitcoin price, we are going to go towards that target of around $60,000. And maybe afterwards, we're going to see a bigger correction, maybe. But for now, I think already with this correction that we are seeing right now, it is already a good buy opportunity. So if you have completely no Bitcoin in your HODL portfolio, then make sure to buy already now at 30K and DCA in down to 20K because it is possible that we're going to fall and retest this 20K. But you definitely don't want to miss out this buying opportunity that we still have here at 30K after we have been here at $42,000 because also this correction right now is already a good discount. Discount. And now let's go over into the DXY, my friends, because here currently I'm seeing a potential symmetrical triangle. It could even be a head and shoulders pattern in the four hour time frame. And that would mean that the DXY will continue to fall here, but I would treat it as a symmetrical triangle. So here we would need to wait for a breakout from the resistance that we have currently at $90.50. Or if we're gonna lose here the support at $90 that we're gonna continue to crash lower here in the DXY. So I think it is also very interesting to see where we're going to see a breakout here because if the DXY is able to push higher then we could see a potential bigger correction in the Bitcoin price towards 28,000 maybe even towards 20k only because of the pump of the DXY that is possible but of course not guaranteed and if the DXY would fall here again and continue here the downwards trend then of course we would see the breakout to the upside in the Bitcoin price earlier than we thought and we most likely will not have this potential correction towards our bearish target. Keep a very close eye on the DXY my friends because if here we're going to break out to the upside or to the downside this could also be a leading indicator of where Bitcoin will be heading to next and right now we are seeing a lot of these altcoins dumping a little bit because we are seeing right now some money from altcoins floating into Bitcoin. You can see here the Bitcoin dominance is rising up here a little bit and I still believe that we could form here a potential head and shoulders pattern. So we could be forming here a right shoulder if we're going to see here a pump in the dominance. So it looks like that also here we are forming this potential ascending triangle and we could see here a push towards 67%. Then of course some altcoins will bleed because a lot of those profits here that we had recently will float back into Bitcoin and then we're also going to have to see where Bitcoin is going to head to next because if we're going to start a major correction I'm sure that a lot of people will take out some profits just to buy cheaper in later at around 20k. So if the Bitcoin dominance is rising up then make sure my friends that you have the most of your money into Bitcoin because the altcoins will bleed really a lot if the Bitcoin dominance is is rising up and at the same time also the Bitcoin price would start to fall because that would mean that a lot of people are taking profits from altcoins back into Bitcoin and then also cashing out and this is of course very bearish and that also could lead into this correction that I think will come here in the very close future. So currently in some altcoins we are seeing a dump on Ethereum currently it's not that bad because we're still holding here with the support that we have at around $1,100. So as long as we're trading here with between $1,100 and the resistance up here at $1,500, Ethereum could be still forming this potential bull flag which will take us towards 2k and higher. It is even possible that here we're going to create kind of an ascending triangle as well if we pull out this support line up here towards $1,500. So let's say like this, then we maybe could even form this potential ascending triangle. And then of course the target would be at around $2,000. So the important thing is that we're not going to lose here this $1,100 support where also the 200 moving average is lining up here in the four hour time frame. So this is going to be very key for Ethereum in order to go towards new all time highs. So we have two very important things to keep an eye on my friends. First is here the DXY to see where we're going to break out here from the symmetrical triangle because I still think that we could see a potential pump towards the 100 or 200 daily moving average to the previous support which now should be acting as a new resistance and otherwise if we're going to continue to fall lower here then of course we're going to see continuation to the upside in the Bitcoin price and overall also in the altcoins. And if here we're going to break out to the upside and start to close again daily candles above the 20 and 9 daily moving average, then of course the target would be way above 50k, potentially even towards $60,000.
So if you still don't have any Bitcoin, my friends, make sure that you're not too late to the party if you don't have any Bitcoin at the moment, because this correction that we're seeing right now could be really the last opportunity to buy cheap in. And if you still need a good exchange where you can buy all the cryptos that you want, then make sure to use my referral links down below here for Binance, Swissborg and Coinbase. Those are the recommended exchanges that I'm also using and with my links you will get some extra money if you sign up with my referral links so you can buy even more Bitcoin and altcoins that you want. So make sure to use my referral links if you need an account over on those recommended exchanges. And if you don't feel too much comfortable in trading yourself with leverage over on Bybit and Femex, but you also want to try to multiply your crypto portfolio when we are going up or when we are going down, then try out PrimeXPT because here we have a co-vesting feature where you can easily copy trade other traders. So like this, you can easily just register with your email with the link that you also find down below here in my video description. Then you just top up some Bitcoin over here and just click here on follow on the trader that you would like to follow like this. You can also multiply your cryptos. But of course, also here we have a high risk to lose money because if the trader is not successful or is getting liquidated, you can lose the invested money. But if you go with the top traders, usually you can do really nice gains with it. And otherwise, just try out Bybit and Femex. If you're new in this trading world, then maybe try out my own indicator, which you can find over on Discord for a small donation, because with my own indicator, you can also start to trade and it is very helpful, especially if you are new. So if you are interested, you can contact me over on Discord. The Discord trading chat link is also down below here in the video description. You can also just join our great crypto trading chat completely for free. Everyone is welcome. We have a very great community over there. And also a big shout out to our server boosters and moderators, GRS, Predi2001 and Kano. So shout out to you, my friends, and also to our great crypto community over here. So if you want to join the best chat out there in the crypto world, then make sure to use my link down below here to join our great crypto chat. So with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Thank you again very much for watching, and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.